Hey, good morning, guys. Now, we talked to the club owners yesterday. They tell us they're frustrated that this man was killed right after this private event let out early Sunday morning. They did tell us that the person that pulled the trigger was a security guard that they hired. However, they say that they had nothing to do with this shooting. There's absolutely nothing we could have done. Yeah. We did everything, everything right. Club owners Reginald and Marianne Marsh are once again dealing with a shooting that took place near Persona Lounge. The club on the corner of Wells and Van Buren had been shut down by the owners this summer due to gun violence. Back in July, a 26-year-old man was killed, then another shooting left four injured. We have to make sure that people, the people who are coming are the right people. Mm -hmm. So we, we voluntarily shut down all summer to great expense. But the owners decided to try and give it another chance for a private event. Saturday night that turned deadly after a 38 year old man got into a fight with a higher 24 year old security guard after the event ended. Police say the man was shot by the security guard in the chest. The shooter he actually stayed and waited for the police and uh, because he thought that he was uh, self-defense because mm -hmm. the first uh, the guy um, had uh, took a swing at him. Just because someone hits you doesn't mean you shoot them. After hearing about this deadly shooting people who live in the area say they've had an Enough with the gun violence. I just live down the street, yeah, so it's really just concerning. Uh, it's just what is happening with the city in general. Just, you know, the crime is just out of control. A problem the club owners say they don't know how to solve. But I love Chicago. I don't think the city is out of control. I think that maybe um, we have to do better. And I, I think I just don't have the answers, which is why I'm not running for mayor. Now, we do know that police uh, that police did take that security guard into custody and was taken to the hospital for minor injuries. In the meantime, so far, no charges have been filed. For now, we're live in the loop. I'm Clint Marshall, WGN News.